Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to show you a little trick I like to use when I'm in my kayak, and it helps me get back to the launch very easily, very quickly, without having to touch the paddle. And all you need is an umbrella. The type, size, style, brand, doesn't really matter. As long as it opens up, you can hold it or place it in a rod holder, which I'll show you in a second, and it catches the wind, you'll be good to go. Now, to use this effectively, you really have to plan your trip right. If you're launching, let's say, from a south location and you're paddling north and you have a north wind or a northeast wind by the end of the day, that wind will help you get back. Now, you don't want to use it to get to where you're going because you'll end up blowing yourself way past where you can effectively paddle back to get back to your launch site. So I'm going to show you an example of using this, but first let me go ahead and switch over to showing you how I actually set it up in my kayak. So here's my little umbrella sail setup. As you can see, it is placed in a rod holder in the center console of the kayak. And on the bottom of the shaft of the um, umbrella, I actually put a bolt and that helps keep it from flying out of the rod holder. Uh, locks it in there and keeps it from flying out. So definitely a plus to do if you do uh, plan on using this type of setup uh, for an umbrella. Also, it doesn't hurt to just hold the umbrella. That way you can kind of guide where the umbrella goes and you can pick up the wind a little better. Now, as I mentioned before, just be careful not to um, get your kayak turned sideways and have that umbrella catch the wind on the side of your kayak because it will tip you over, especially if you get a good gust of wind. Now, let me go ahead and show you some footage of it actually on the water being used. I was about five miles north of where I launched and I had a northeast wind and it helped uh, blow me back all the way through those five miles. So it was very easy to get back. Very nice to just sit back and not have to worry about anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at that footage. In order to keep myself going straight, all I have to do is use the rudder and move my feet in order to turn that rudder depending on the direction that I need to go or to correct myself. Now at times the wind will gust a little too strong so I do hold on to the umbrella just to take some pressure off of the rod holder. This umbrella does have a vent on the top that allows some wind to go through and that definitely helps if you do have a strong gust of wind so it doesn't pop that umbrella open. So as you can see the way I have it set up in my kayak, I don't even have to touch the umbrella. It just sits there in a rod holder and all I have to do is steer the kayak using the rudder, which I just use my feet. So my hands are free. I can use the paddle if I need to to get an extra bit of turning or if I need a little extra boost. Now a couple things you want to look out for when you are using the umbrella. When you get a big gust of wind, the umbrella might pop open and um, open up to where it folds outside. So. If that happens, just turn the umbrella backwards, face it into the wind, and knock it loose. What you don't want to do is have your kayak facing sideways and that umbrella facing to the side and the wind catching it because it will flip you over. I've had that happen before. So that will wrap up this simple tip on using an umbrella as a sail to help you get back to your launch site on your kayak or paddleboard. So an umbrella is definitely a good thing to have stored inside your kayak or on your paddleboard with you. Not only does it help if it rains to help keep you dry, but it acts as a great sail to get you back to where you were without having to use that extra effort of paddling. So if you have any questions about this tip, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, the footage that I showed you on this trip, I had a really good day on the water, caught multiple uh, species in one day, and it's in our Salt Strong Insider membership. If you don't know what that is, we give very detailed fishing reports. We also hit the trends really hard. What these fish are doing, different times of the year, structure they're holding in different times of the year, and also what they're biting on. Now these trends can be applied pretty much to anywhere that these fish are, depending on what state you're in. So it's definitely a good thing to have. Aside from the fishing reports, we also give our insider members exclusive fishing tips that we don't put out to the public. In addition to that, you also get some pretty awesome discounts on your favorite gear. So definitely check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.